Welcome, my name is Mats Olsamar. This is part six, and here we compare the Ilmor five stroke engine and the Olsamar engine. The Olsamar two plus one layout is similar to the Ilmor five stroke with the two plus one layout. Some people have therefore mixed up the functionality of these engines, and this video will explain the key differences. The Ilmor five stroke engine was invented 20 years ago by Gerhard Schmitz, and it uses one large uh, exhaust piston that will take care of the exhaust gases from first one uh, combustion uh, cylinder and then from a second combustion cylinder. And it will have a second expansion of these gases, and then uh, the valve will open towards the turbo. So you have three valves for this cylinder and um, every second time it will take in gases from the left combustion cylinder and every second time from the right combustion cylinder and then it will expel those into the turbo. For the turbo it looks like two pulses still but they have been moved 180 degrees further down the road so to say. Ilmor did build the prototype of this one and tested it, but um, the development has been closed down. Uh, they had a similar uh, fuel consumption as normal engines, and um, well, they gave up, so to say. The Ulsama 2 plus 1 engine is a simplification. We have a smaller exhaust piston. And we don't have any valves at all, but we rely on the back pressure from the turbo alone. So what we get is 50% of the exhaust goes directly to the turbo and 50% is pushing down on the smaller piston. So the blue curves show two exhaust pulses from the left and right combustion cylinder. The yellow curve shows the uh, uh, exhaust piston moving up and down and taking care of some of the gases. And the red curve shows the th uh, four pulses going to the turbo. So we have more pulses, but they are smaller and more evenly. We have run computer simulations for this, and we're using a software called GT Power. And this is a way to sketch up this functionality in the GT Power. We have two combustion cylinders, and then we have a common crankshaft that is connected to the um, exhaust cylinder to the right there. And when we make these uh, calculations, we can get it to uh, optimize it for different kind of turbos and different kind of settings. And we get some results from that. And we need to compare these results with a standard engine. So this is the same engine, but without the extra exhaust cylinder. And when we compare it, we can see that we don't get any benefits at all at low pressure, where we have boost pressure of one and a half bar absolute. At two and a half bar absolute, we have um, quite good fuel savings. And at three and a half bar absolute pressure, we have around 6% fuel savings for most RPMs and close to 7% at four and a half thousand RPMs. We can also see that the pressure before the turbine um, different, uh, is different. Um, the top curves are different colors for different RPMs. And here we can see that they go down to one bar, which is the same pressure as the surrounding air, which means there is no extra pressure on the turbine there. But for the Ulsamar engine, we can see the bottom graphs that um, many of them don't go down to one bar. So we have a constant pressure on the turbine all the time there. So it's a smoother flow through the turbine. And after the turbine, we can see that the top one shows for the standard engine, the baseline engine, and we have a lot of fluctuation 
in the pressure after the turbine. And we also have a little bit higher peaks compared to the lower curves. And they are very smooth, these curves, and the peaks are very low. So there is little energy left in the exhaust after the turbine. And we can also notice that the, the temperature is also lower at the turbine and after the turbine for the Ulsam engine. So comparing these two side by side, the Ulsam engine must use a turbo with high boost to get efficiency. It doesn't have any valves at all for the extra cylinder. The Ilmor five stroke engine, you need extra valves for the cylinder and you need about twice the volume in this cylinder compared to the other one. It can also work without the turbo, so it's a possibility for that one. Then comes the layout of them. Uh, during our computer simulations of the 2 plus 1 version, we saw that uh, a 20 degree um, V uh, design would be quite beneficial. And we can place the exhaust cylinder on the side, we don't need any camshaft going over it, we don't need any valves. So we get a very short and compact engine with few valves. If we compare it to the Ilmor 5-stroke, we need a camshaft over all of them and we need valves on all of them. And we also need a larger uh, cylinder in the middle. So it will be a longer engine and a longer camshaft and more valves. And if we compare the combustion cylinder total volume, we see that um, for the Ulsammer engine, the combustion cylinders are 60% of the total volume, whereas the Ilmor 5-stroke, uh, the combustion cylinders are 47% of the total volume. And that is for the prototype that they built. Uh, we can also have the Ulsammer 3 plus 1 setup. So to the left we have three cylinders behind each other, we can't see them all. And then we have a second crankshaft, which is driven by a belt or a chain or a gearing. And it drives the RPM of the second crankshaft 50% faster. So the exhaust piston can serve, a single exhaust piston can serve three combustion cylinders. And if we look at the blue curves, those are th uh, three peaks coming from the combustion cylinders. The yellow curve is the exhaust piston going up and down. And the red curve is a very smooth flow to the turbo. And the future plan is to make new computer simulations in GT power. So a setup with three combustion cylinders would look like this. Um, we only see one combustion cylinder here, but then we have from the crankshaft of that one, we have a gearing connect one there going to a crank slider and the crank slider can regulate the volume in the flow split. And uh, that one connects further to the right to a turbo. So this is a way to set that one up. It's also possible to test with four plus one. The gearing ratio would be 100% uh, faster for the RPM in the crank slider then. It would be interesting to see. The design of the Ulsama 3 plus 1 engine, we expect with this design that the combustion cylinders will be 75% of the total volume. If we compare it to the Ilmor 5 stroke, there is a design with three combustion cylinders, but you would need two uh, exhaust cylinders as well and you get a very long engine and you still have 47% of the total volume for the combustion cylinders only. So this is the end of this presentation. I hope you find it interesting and if you have any questions you can drop me an email on this address. Thank you.